I was complaining to my company about the difficulties I was having working from home. My broadband internet wasn't reliable 100% and it always disconnected me at the most inappropriate time. My complaints were heard. My company recently shipped me a Citrix SD-WAN 110 LTE appliance to enable me to work better from my home location, which I am truly grateful for. Let's unbox it and step through the setup. Here's the SD-WAN 110 appliance. On the front are some LED indicators with the LTE signal strength indicator and two SIM slots. We have the inputs for the LTE antennas on the front and back. And on the back of the appliance, there are four one gig ethernet ports, two USBs, serial console input, a power button and the power input. This device is also shipped Wi-Fi ready. Inside the box, we also have the power cord, adapter, and since this is an LTE model, it includes two antennas. And if you wanted, included are two leg stands. If you would like the appliance to stand upright, you would simply screw these legs to the left side of the appliance. In preparation for the setup, I will need a few things. First, I want to identify where I want to place the SD-WAN. It's small enough, roughly nine by six, so I will just place it here on the desk. But I will need to account for cabling. Since I'm going to place it close to my workstation, I will need to run a cable from my home router. Luckily, I already have this cable connected to my company issued laptop, so I will just make use of that. And I also need an additional Cat5 Ethernet cable to replace the cable I disconnected from my laptop. Also, I have a SIM card with an active data plan that my IT team provided me to use with this new SD-WAN device. Lastly, I will need to account for the power source, which I can just trace along with my existing monitor cables, which I'll take care of now. Okay, with everything prepared, let's step through the setup. The instructions are quite simple. We'll first insert the SIM card, this is a standard size SIM, into slot number one on the front of the SD-WAN. There is a slot number two for an optional second SIM card to operate as a standby or passive wireless transport. So that's optional and we can do that later. Next, I'll install the antennas. I'm in a good reception area, so I won't need any extender cables. I can just directly twist on the SMA coax connectors on the antenna by rotating clockwise. We'll do this on the front and back of the device. We'll just do it tight enough so the antenna will stay upright without falling, either in the standing up direction or if I lay it down flat. Here is the ethernet cable that is running to my existing home router. I am going to use that and cable it directly into interface 1 slash 2 on the SD-WAN. This is an important interface in that it serves as the primary WAN port. And this port, along with the LTE, will enable an automated call home process to self-configure. So if you don't have the LTE model, you wouldn't need the SIM card or the installation of the antennas. You simply would cable in the internet source on this interface 1 slash 2 dedicated as a WAN port. Like most devices that connect physically via ethernet to your home router, it will automatically obtain an IP address with DNS via DHCP, which will enable access to public internet. Lastly, we'll power on the appliance by simply connecting the power supply to the power source. Okay, with that, the zero touch deployment process should be automatically kicking off as the box boots up. The LED interfaces will illuminate and the LTE signal strength can be observed indicating that the process has started. We'll let this run, go grab a coffee and return in a little bit. 
Okay, getting back to this. The zero touch deployment doesn't take much time to complete. So allowing a few minutes for that to complete by itself, we should be good to connect our work computer to the LAN interface one slash one of the SD-WAN. And my IT team informed me that this device has DHCP enabled to automatically issue my laptop an IP address that will be allowed to connect to resources in the data center. And with that, I should be able to access my company resources reliably over this new SD-WAN overlay. With this new SD-WAN setup, I am no longer dependent on the reliability of this single internet source. The system will automatically decide when it's best to use my internet link or my LTE, which will definitely keep me more productive and happy.